Hello there! We are going to make a vampire from Vampire the Masquerade 20th anniversary and this time we are going to make an Arimane. Uh, the Arimane uh, is a gangrel sub-clan uh, with the vampire flaw that you cannot create other vampires and you have to be female. Uh, depends on how you read the lore but basically you have to be a female gangrel. Um, I put some starting points to indicate which uh, attributes and abilities you have to use to uh, perform your vampire disciplines. Uh, to start off with, you have uh, uh, 7, 5 and 3 points to put in the attributes and then 13, 9 and 5 to put in your abilities. Uh, since most of our abilities are going to be social based, I will put 7 in social, uh, 5 in physical, and 3 in mental. Um, there's 3 ways to put your points. Uh, if you have the 3 points, you could uh, do it balanced, meaning that you're not bad at anything, but you're not good at anything either. Then there's the role playing based, like you are um, in an army main. Uh, Gangrel, so you probably not that intelligent, but you are very perceptive and react fast. This could be you would put it role playing based. Uh, Gangrels are uh, werewolf who lives in the forest m most of the time, and the Arimain uh, are inflicted with the vampire curse that they look like uh, cats. Um, in some regards. Um, then there is the last one, there is the XP based one, meaning that if you do it like uh, this, you have used the at least amount of experience, if you should have bought that for experience points, uh, compared to if you did it like this. Um, meaning that if you did it like this, it would kind of cost you, uh, it cost you 4 experience per dot you already have before you put the dot down. Meaning this will cut you 4, the next one 4, the next one 4. Meaning you have used 12 experience points, but if you do it like this, you have used 4, then 8 more, that's 12, and then 12 more, that's 24 experience points. So, I will do the experience based one. Um, and uh, based on what you want to focus on <coughs> in your uh, magic. Uh, you should uh, either put in appearance, manipulation, or charisma. Yeah, I found <coughs> I find that charisma is something I really uh, want to. Uh, uh, sorry, manipulation is the one I use the most in in game, and then we'll do it like this. So <coughs> later on, I can use a very low amount of experience to raise it to like three or four dots. Then we we'll use five in the physical. Uh, and if you want to be more fighting, you can sh swap them. Um, I find that dexterity is the one I goes for the most, and do it like this. Um, and I don't like to be unintelligent, so I will do it like this. Uh, yeah, and strength how hard you hit, dex how good you hit people, stamina how much damage you can negate, charisma does people like you, manipulation can you manipulate people. Appearance, how uh, beautiful are you? Perception, what do you notice? Uh, intelligence, how small are you? And wits, how fast do you react? <coughs> In uh, the abilities, because this ability tree is far greater than the attribute, uh, then I would normally put one dot in everything I want to have for my character. So for not to forget that I have to use empathy, I would put it in the last one. Not that I have nine dots. But if I put down dots like this, I will probably forget that I have to use empathy. I will put uh, one dot in everything I think most characters should have at least one dot in. Uh, the difference is between having zero and one dot is the difficulty I increases by three dots. Meaning that if you want to see if someone is watching you, you have to roll a perception alertness roll. Uh, that's only one dot. But if you have zero in this, it will probably be difficulty nine instead of difficulty six. If you have at least one dot in, it's difficulty 6, uh, based on if it's dark and so on. Um, here you can also uh, use it role playing based, uh, balance based, or XP based. 
if it's balance based, we'll just you know try to put it as uh, even as you will. Uh, role playing based, you are not that perception by nature, but you have learned in the forest to increase your senses and so on, so on, so on, and put and you have been fighting a lot with your fist and whatever. And then uh, XP based, uh, meaning if we go over here and use three points. We have used, uh, it costs free to start an um, uh, ability you don't have, and two per dot, meaning that this will be three, six, nine points, and this one will be three, then two more, that's five, and four more on that, that's nine, but if you do, do it like this, it will only be three, six, and eight points. You cannot increase these to higher than three at this, uh, at this rate, except with experience points um, and freebie points. But I think every character should have at least one alertness, one athletic to dodge attacks and hit with throwing weapons. Awareness, someone, uh, some uh, people think that this one is very important, I don't use it that much. Since you are a gangrel or a nature fighter, uh, brawl is good to attack with claws and so on, and I will get why that is important later. Uh, empathy, if you can see if people are lying or what they feel. Expression. Uh, intimidation, that's good to have, but a uh, necessary ability, per se. Uh, leadership, uh, streetwise, I will always, ha always have one in that. I mean, roleplaying based, if you live in the woods, you won't have any streetwise, but I like to have one. And subterfuge, so you at least have a minimal uh, chance of lying. And these are not something I will put uh, in this. Character is something you should have at least one in, and then I will put what I want afterwards. Uh, everyone should at least have one in either melee or firearms to e either be able to fire a gun or attack with a melee weapon uh, other than you know having brawl just in case you don't want to show your, your vampire powers or whatever varies whatever reason um, you don't really want to brawl them uh, at this rate I think that melee is more appropriate to this character one still uh, yeah, academics. I think for for the most part, it ha it ha have at least one. Then you can you know uh, write and uh, basic math and so on. Investigations you can find things. It's also co uh, called in secondary abilities uh, search, where people use investigation. Then have at least one in occult, so you know about the magic world, and that's about it. These are the ones you should have. Uh, by doing so, we can look at what we have used most dot in. Uh, I should actually not start with putting three, but in the end game, we will have that. So we have used like six here, and we have used five here and three here. So I will use 13 points, uh, or maybe not because I have to use that for my magical abilities. 13 points here, nine points here, and five points here. Uh, by do doing this, we have used our five points. That's easy. Uh, nine, we have used six, seven, eight, three, six, eight, yeah. We have one dot left. Uh, for not wasting experience, it is only one, but I will take one in intimidation. Uh, and with experience, I will increase my empathy, but brawn is very important to have in the beginning. Um, no, not much of this, I think, is usable for the Ari main, so I will see if I can do this, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, it's good to know, be able to bow to the prince of the vampires and so on, craft if you want to fix something, and maybe lastly, or uh, we could do it like... Maybe this instead, having ha have a lot of stealth in the forest. Yeah, I think that is better. Um, <clears throat> then we come to discipline. I will actually uh, start off with not taking the, the disciplines because normally you only start off with three uh, disciplines the animalism, the spiritu spiritus, and the presence. Uh, these I will explain later why I have, have that. So we will go over to the background. And there's a lot of different things like allies, friends who have alternative identity, contacts, domains, fame, generation. 
uh, hertz that is the one you feed from and retainers is your ghouls then do your bidding or the other way around I guess I not remember resource if you have money and so on just to make it easy we will take generation and fill it up to 5 you have 5 points here and it cannot be increased to more than 5 so that's easy and that means that your generation uh, fall from 13 to generation 8 meaning you're only 8 steps from the original vampire and that means that it will go down here that you from having 10 blood points that's what you use for abilities healing and so on I'll get to that and you have and you can use free each turn then we will go here for conscience self control and courage conscience is that how easy do you have uh, how easy is it for you to kill people without feeling remorse self control do you smell blood um, or get tempted to do something how easy do you have to not doing it and courage is that if you see fire or sunlight do you flee um, or do you stand your ground <coughs> these two combined make your humanity meaning how human you are if you are 10 you are a saint and if you are one you are like a beast a vampire monster and if your humanity ever reaches zero uh, your character goes out of game because then your character cannot do anything else than uh, hunt feed uh, sleep um, so it's good to have it a little bit high but not too high uh, and courage uh, makes your will willpower <coughs> willpower you can use for automatic successes like if you had three willpower you would use one willpower now you only have two but you don't uh, erase your permanent willpower you just use one temporarily and then you get one automatic su success for one of your rolls and you can use only one each turn uh, so yeah and you regain them from uh, either sleeping a whole day resting is the optional rule or fulfilling your nature we'll go back to that uh, in the end uh, a little bit confusing i know um, but we will be able we want to be able to kill people rather easy uh, and the xp way of this one is also just uh, increasing one to max uh, but actually i don't think i want to do that in this instance actually I want to be able to kill people uh, easy have a little bit of self-control and then uh, have some courage and that means that our humanity is six and our willpower is four yes then we go down to the next part um, oh yeah and this is your health uh, you only have uh, seven health and the eight you die from and there's three kinds of damage that is uh, bashing uh, th this one indicated by a dot that is if I hit you very hard you won't die from it but it, I can probably knock you out if I hit you I enough then there's lethal uh, lethal is if I stab you with a, with a dagger you can die fr uh, from it and then there is aggravated damage meaning fire, acid, sunlight for, va for vampires, magical abilities and so on and that's extremely dangerous uh, for you as a vampire you cannot die from lethal but if you take like lethal all the way down won't do it all the way but all the way here and you take like one lethal more this gets turned into an aggravated damage and when you hit aggravated damage uh, further than incapacitated you will uh, become dust then we go down here and then we should pick some flaws there is a long list and I won't go through them all I will just mention a few of them but every one of these flaws has uh, a cost and, uh, yeah, a bonus cost meaning that you get extra points to increase your character's uh, abilities and so on so uh, addiction could be your addiction to coke and you but because you're a vampire you have to drink blood from someone who had taken coke to actually feel the rush you have a bad side, you can be blind, you can have enemies, uh, you could be a former prince, meaning that once you were the prince of the vampires, but you get, got dethroned and people don't trust you. Glowing eyes, um, a, a lot of stuff, and you should pick out those you uh, think that is suitable for your character. Then if it's Im important, physical, mental, social or supernatural flaw, and what kind of bonus it gives you because then we can go over to this one this is the merits and that is the opposite of the flaws there's something you're good at 
and discipline uh, affinity um, is in the Aramain bloodline book. Um, it can either cost five or seven uh, points. If you are normal gangrel, um, then you will start off with uh, animalism. Uh, animalism fortitude that is not on this list and uh, protein and then uh, because this uh, clan already already started with this three you will only gain uh, two more abilities fortitude and protein and that when it's cost only five but if you are the city gang rule uh, you start off with uh, celerity obfuscate and protein and since you don't have you don't already have animalism it costs seven uh, because you gain three extra ability instead of two. Um, you start off with uh, oh yeah, you can only pick flaws for seven points. So when you have seven points, we have used that those seven points here, and then you start off with an additional fifteen points. Since we have chosen city gangrel just to gain the most abilities, these are all in clan abilities. Um, and the difference from in clan and out of clan disciplines is that in clan cost 10 to start and 5 per dot you already re, uh, already have where out of clan cost 10 to start and 7 for each dot you already have so they are uh, a bit cheaper uh, by doing so <coughs> uh, we have 15 points left uh, these cost 5 all the attributes all the abilities cost 2 each dot and then you can increase it to more than 3 dots uh, then there is uh, discipline that costs 7 per, per, per dot, background cost 1, uh, virtues cost 2, uh, and willpower cost 1. I will suggest to all uh, players to increase your willpower to at least 7 or even higher. So by doing this like this, we can use 5 points and then have uh, 10 points left. But before we will go further, we have 3 uh, dots in disciplines. I will go through them uh, for the first three dots because that's how high you can have them at the beginning animalism uh, is that the one you can communicate with animals and give them orders they have to, to do uh, two you can summon one kind of animal like howling like a wolf and then all the wolf in the area will join you uh, if you are in the desert where there's no wolf no wolf will come but if there is a local animal they will probably come and three uh, you can uh, make people mad as like an inner beastly rage then there is the special abilities that only uh, um, the Aramans can get and that's sp uh, spirits at uh, one you can awaken the spirit in objects meaning that they work better than they normally would so if you have like a gun uh, and you have like let's say one firearms and you have five decks there's six dices to uh, roll to shoot, but if you get like two successes in this, um, you will gain two more dice to the next attack with it. So you will actually have eight die instead of six for one shot. Um, the second one, you can summon uh, animal spirits, and they will do whatever you tell them to do uh, if it comes n natural to them. Like. You can summon a raven spirit and that will try to steal some uh, golden uh, crosses you want to get off the street or something or some, some something shiny or a wolf will attack the enemy and so on. Um, but the spirit has to be local too, you cannot say uh, out on the north pole say I want to summon a tiger, uh, there's no tiger spirits necessary there. And the uh, third one is that you can uh, take an animal spirit and fuse it into your soul or into your being, meaning that you gain their abilities. I think that is the bear that increases your strength with two or three, I think. The har uh, make you hear better, the eagle make you see better, the chameleon make you sneak better, uh, and so on. Um, and I think that's fish make you swim faster or something uh, so you can gain a lot of abilities from the animals you can use to your uh, advantage 
Uh, then there's pressing. Pressing uh, one makes that people will notice you and try to agree on what you are uh, saying to them. You are showing yourself off like the man that people re really should trust. The second one, you showing all your vampire uh, features like claws and teeth and bloodshot eyes and so on and make people flee from you. And the third one is that you make yourself look like an authority. So if you want to inf infiltrate a company and people won't let you in, you can use presents to make it seem like, oh, you are one of the co-founders uh, or something, uh, uh, co-leaders or whatever you would call them, so you have to pass. <coughs> then you gain these three abilities. Celerity is very easy. For every dot you have in that, your dexterity increases by one. And by using one uh, blood, these uh, dots it would inc increase are negated, but then you get one more action per dot you have. Meaning if you have three dots, you would have like eight dexterity, or convert those three dots into three more attacks. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to use all of them, you can see, say you want to use one blood point to not convert all three into extra action, only one of them to extra action and keep the two extra decks. Uh, and that's how it increases for all levels um, in the beginning. Obfuscate 1 uh, is the power to not be seen, the opposite of present. Uh, and that makes that in 1 you become invisible in shadows as long as you stand still. With 2 you can walk and shadows will kind of follow you and make people look the other way <coughs> uh, in your direction. And the third one makes that you can change your appearance to look like anyone or any... Yeah, it, anyone you want. Um, so if you are robbing a bank and run outside, you can change your face to look like someone else and people will probably ask you if you saw the robber run or something. Your clothes do doesn't necessarily change, but you can you know, fool you into high high places with this power. Then there com comes protein, and protein is a um, clan specific ability too. Uh, at the first one you can see through darkness, not magical darkness, but normal darkness as it won't hinder your sight. With two, uh, you can make your fingers into into claws. And these claws inflict one aggravate damage and take one turn to uh, do and cost one blood point. And with uh, three, you can submerge into earth and sleep outside the woods, even though that there's no shelter. Uh, so you won't be hit by sunlight, or you can use it to hide. Um, these are the three abilities of all of these. Um, there is a way to do this, uh, like the other one. Balanced, just one in each. Uh, role playing based, oh I really want to be good with animals, and I want to make people like me. That could be, that could be it. And then there is the XP based, um, these cost 10 experience to start if you have 0 in them, uh, so this would be 30 experience, and as I said before, it costs 5 for every dot you have, so this is 15 and then 25, so meaning that uh, this is also tw 25, so the way to gain most experience is like this, or this, or whatever, but then you don't necessarily have all the good abilities, I mean, Protein 2 is so good because you can make aggravated claws that can cut through metal and cut through mostly anything and most creatures cannot uh, defend against it. Since you are a vampire you can soak with your stamina, uh, you can soak uh, lethal damage and bashing but not aggravated damage. You have to use fo uh, fortitude that you don't have to be able to soak aggravated damage. Um, I'm not the big, biggest fan of animalism, Spirit, spiritualism um, is pretty good, celerity is pretty good, and protein is pretty good. I would do it like this and then later on get some obfuscates and increase these uh, a bunch before I throw myself a presence and animalism, but based on how you want to play them. Uh, but back to uh, the freebie points, we have 10 left, and I would actually do it like this to regain the most experience from it. This gives you 16 experience 
because there's 4, 8, 12, 16, and then you get the final one. Uh, yeah, our strength is crappy, our stamina is average, and our dex is extraordinary. But by doing this, we can, with a very few points of experience, increase our strength a little bit higher, our stamina a little bit higher, our appearance, our perception, and our wits. Um, so I think that will do it for this. Yeah, and the weakness is that they have uh, feline features uh, on them, and they can only be f uh, females. Um, and your weakness is also that you not not a weakness to be f female, but in the books, this is uh, written that uh, the first one only turned uh, females into uh, into this uh, uh, this. Uh, clan uh, but you can interpret that as you want and you cannot turn other vampires meaning that you cannot uh, make a army of vampires um, so yeah you have to find another way to be strong so you have to be solo strong uh, yeah I think that is about it uh, yeah everything you have uh, with four more dots it in it also down here uh, you have to pick a specialty a specialty could be like manipulation could be lying so every time you're trying to use manipulation and substitute for lying your tens will count as two successes instead of one intelligence could be cr uh, creative if you had a lot of craft it could be a creative way to make some weapons uh, and so on for all, all of these then you have to pick your uh, your sire is actually uh, already de determined, I cannot remember what she's called, but uh, she's the one who had created all uh, this uh, clan. Uh, your nature is how you are uh, deepest within, uh, and your demeanor is how people uh, sees you. Uh, meaning that if your nature is murder, uh, your demeanor could be helpful that you seem like a swell guy, but uh, or girl. Uh, but when you are alone with someone who is hurt or cannot flee from you, you will kill them because that's your nature. Your, your nature is one of the ways to regain your willpower if you use uh, a lot of uh, willpower. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I hope that helped you uh, in the creation of the Arimanes. Uh See you later then. Bye.